what did you see happening with New Japan Strong before the pandemic? Obviously, there were some plans for New Japan USA, but nobody could have predicted this. Yeah, I mean, I, I think they did like a press conference in Japan. I want to say like a year before the uh, the pandemic. And they had this kind of like seven, eight year plan. You know, yeah. like it was a very like methodical, slow plan to build America, you know, and, and you know, have, you know, uh, events here and there, you know, different areas all around the U.S. And uh, it would, it, you know, create the dojo, obviously, and expand the dojo eventually. Um, and really put an effort into building a U.S. brand, right? But it was going to be eight years to do it, you know? Wow. So <laughs> the pandemic comes, and obviously we can't travel, right? And nobody was traveling. But, you know, we realized quickly that we had all the resources in L.A. to be like, oh, well, we can tape a show right now with no fans and create content for New Japan World, and we can actually – beat Japan at getting back, you know, and having like new content and events uh, in the state. So that was like, let's just go for it, you know, let's just make it happen. And, and you know, so then New Japan, the idea of New Japan Strong, uh, you know, the hour long TV show, you know, with maybe two to three matches. And, you know, let's, let's focus on, you know, the Young Lions, let's focus on the LA Dojo, let's focus on, uh, at that time, uh, ROH wrestlers who weren't wrestling either, you know, Brody King and, and certain guys who were under ROH deals bring them in let's get you know and let's let's effectively create like a studio show you know but let's make it japanese style you know with that, that little flair of like hard-hitting matches and you know that 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 uh, match quality that you would get from a new japan show just in a studio uh, like americanized studio style you know so it, uh, i'm so proud of like what we've done with new japan strong uh like you said like seeing a guy like fred rosser who you didn't see much, you know, prior to get like this resurgence in his career. And, you know, he's a strong open weight champion. He's going to be wrestling a big demo on Saturday, which I'm really excited for because yeah. both of those guys are killers. It's going to be awesome. So, um, and, uh, and, you know, like they said, Shoto Umino coming over and we saw him at Forbidden Door and, and like, what a, you know, he was a superstar in the making, you know, 100%. And, and, you know, like, it's, it's great to see, you know, somebody like Chris Jericho give so much to, sh to Shota, you know, and, and, you know, like playing off of that little bit that, you know, that happened with if him and uh, Kenny and Kenny Omega's match at, in the, at Wrestle Kingdom and with his dad, who's Red Shoes Uno. And I don't know, it's just really cool that to tie that all in, especially, you know, you fans kind of forgot about it and then to tie it all in later and make it into a neat little package was is awesome that's kind of like what i love wrestling is like you can just do that you can create these storylines that uh off of history right because it actually happened it's factual you know so it's cool um so yeah i i, I love strong you know i think what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna tour a little more next year so i'm really excited about that and uh like we were just in charlotte we taped in charlotte and the feedback there, you know, it, we didn't have a crazy amount of uh, of fans there, but like the feedback from each one, it's like, oh, I've never been to a New Japan Strong show, but holy crap, they're freaking awesome to go to because they're paced really well. You know, we do 12 matches, but it's like, which is a lot, yeah. but it doesn't feel like 12 matches, sure. you know, which is cool. So um, I feel like that was always like the, so, you know, like even like back in the old ROH days when we used to tape, you do, you know, whatever, 12, 13 matches. And it would just be like these long days, you know, but we've kind of figured out the formula of like, you know, keeping things short and interesting and pacing it right. Like kind of like the way that New Japan paces and it kind of builds, you know, throughout the whole night. And then you see the bigger, you know, it gets bigger and bigger. You see the big stars towards the end of the night. So I feel like that's uh, been kind of crucial to, to the taping. So anybody who hasn't checked it out. You know, uh, you know, come down and check New Japan Strong out. I promise you, show. you'll go home. Uh, you'll go home happy. Uh, you can also watch it on Fight TV and, of course, New Japan World.